Mostre e morta. A UFC lightweight division bout. A napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year. All right, commit the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for you. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Nice straight punch. Oh, collar tie. Powerful leg kick lands. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land beautiful punches to the head. throwing every part of himself into a big leg kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Nice leg kick. Oh, straight right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, eats a knee. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh! He's gonna turn on the elbow. He's gonna chase the submission finish. to watch. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fun. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat for this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves. So freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> you have to be so well rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big kick lands. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Not there. Big ball from Bush Land. Now he gets back to range. 
So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Oh, and he caught the kick. That punch to the body is a lot of damage. Oh, a little single collar tie there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He has certainly tried to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not work. We knew he'd see a commitment to try and secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Some nice back and forth action here. Big punch from the clinch. Well, that kick is good by Lee. And again, snaps the head back as another punch lands. Another punch lands. He's doing everything with his hand. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, just misses with the kick. No, 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 no. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Big punch lands over the top. Ultimate follows. Lee's knee is blocked. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson. Punch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson, or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy uppercut. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And he caught the kick. Beautiful hit. Nice punch there. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice head kick. Yeah. Oh. oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, big shot land. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Back to the jab now. No goal. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. That's a big strike right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's 
pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch it go parallel, right? That's where the opponent, when it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Oh, now he's in trouble. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, right the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to break. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped. It was so tight. I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Huge elbow there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, no! Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And he defends yet another takedown. Seemingly every takedown attempt that has been tried has been stuffed. Beautiful strike. Nice one, two there. Punches block. That landed. Nice strike. Good shot of double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. 
Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He go oh, he might have got him with a choke. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did there. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My guy. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, Assassin! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner.